Buckety Insurance. Yep. Come on up. That's pretty much just general information. Oh, but thank you. Yeah. We were out to see you last year a couple of times. Yep. I remember. So I'm Haley Marple, and this is Randy Dick, and we're with BKD Companies, like you said. Um, and again, we came out here last year and uh, provided you guys a quote. Um, we brought you a gap, pretty similar to what you guys kind of do now. Mm -hmm. I believe you're still with Freedom Claims, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so we brought that last year. We're just here again this year to kind of remind you of what we do and just try to get permission to provide you a quote again this coming year. Okay. Um, Again, we have a lot of HR resources that it goes through in there that can help with maybe some of the things Scott does. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of groups that are on an online platform, Employee Navigator, which we've talked about before. Um, and I think you said when we were here last year, maybe your employees wouldn't get good use out of it. Your employees might not want to do their enrollment there, mm -hmm. which is fine. We're happy to input it for them. But when it comes to payroll reporting, you know, the 1095 filing, all that kind of paperwork stuff, that'll kind of get taken care of and kind of take something off Scott or whoever mm -hmm. is in charge of that. Um, in regards to the plan, last year the gap that we brought you had like that umbrella plan with Blue Cross Blue Shield, which is fully insured. The gap piece we brought was actually a fully insured piece instead of like funding your own. Mm -hmm. Gives you kind of a better way to budget. And the only kind of unknown we had in that plan was the prescription. So they were self-funded, but other than that was underwritten. Um, we would use the same Blue Cross plan you have if that's the route that we went. And so, like, network and things like that wouldn't change. We can do all kinds of plan, fully insured, self-funded, anything that you guys would be interested in. That's just kind of what we went for last year. Dr. Pauline, I think you had one. We talked about different carriers. Mm -hmm. I think it was United Healthcare, maybe you mm -hmm. or another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how about Edna, though? We've had some luck with Edna from a benefit and rate standpoint. Do you have any experience with them? A little bit. I just, I, United Healthcare, I just, yeah. that was, and one of my main concerns was anything out, because we're, we're right on the board. Right. And that's, yes. that's where you guys had, had, I think we did spoke as you guys were leaving. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 The, uh, Edna one would work probably better than the Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kansas mm -hmm. from that standpoint, because okay. it's a nationwide thing. Right. Uh, so, um, it might be one that we State really boundaries work. are not an issue. Though. Right. No. right. Mm -hmm. Cardiology, a lot of it goes up to Kearney. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. We, you, um, don't you have a lot? Do you use Colorado quite a bit as well? Yeah, we also I use them so. for, uh, well, pretty much everything. Yeah. Cardiology as well and yeah. other respiratory stuff. Yeah, when we were driving up here, I would think uh, really a majority of your bigger stuff would be out of state, I would think. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we make sure and check on that. Our gap plans generally too will lower their out of pocket. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have a deductible, but mm -hmm. we don't have a level of co-insurance if you'll remember above that. So, right. Like right now, you have a. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't have your plan for me. But you have a deductible, and you have a level of co-insurance to get to your out of pocket. Right. Ours will stop at the deductible. It's a hundred percent after your deductible, rather than having any additional out of pocket. What uh, is your deductible here? I don't remember. I think from it's last. three thousand family, isn't it? So maybe fifteen hundred, three thousand. That'd be pretty common. That'd be yeah. That's a pretty common thing. And so then, this plan would say once you hit that fifteen hundred, you've hit a hundred percent. You're done paying or three thousand on your family, which can be pretty good for you know county employees. That can be a big hit comparison. Mm -hmm. Are there any things about your plan you don't like currently, or that you really do like, or any things that you you're in place? Think they're missing or anything? No. Not that I know. Of. We're looking for the best plan for the cheapest yep. amount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I understand. And most. Uh, I've got. We're. A lot of times we're involved in not involved in the budget, but we usually give them a number for budget. And uh, it seems like uh, health insurance is one of your top three budget items. Yeah. I think we we're projected seventeen percent increase this next year. Is that right? Wow. Or they don't know for sure yet, but they just can kind of anticipate. Uh, there were. Five to ten percent. Last year didn't go up at all. So I think I remember that last year. Yes. Maybe I was wrong. Was it two thousand, two thousand then? I don't know. I can't remember. Scott, have you guys been able to build up some reserves with your current gap plan? Yes. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. So that could help with your increase then. And um, you would maintain them too. Mm -hmm. uh, 
A lot of times what we see with those is they will take kind of your reserves and factor it in. Let's say if it was going to be a 17% increase, just for example, they might say, well, we're going to use your reserves to make it a 10% increase. What we would do is you would obviously keep, that's your money, you can use it however you want, and then we would just present our plan. If you choose to use those you know, reserves that you build up, you would use them. But again, that's your money, so you can... We generally don't know that amount, so mm -hmm. we have no way of factoring that in. For yeah. Right. So, anyhow, just asking permission to put together numbers for you again uh, and get your input if there's something you'd like to see. I think it's 1,000, 2,000. Okay. Yeah, just compare apples to apples, mm -hmm. apples yeah. and see if we can save the county some money mm -hmm. and, and still get the quality of care that we okay. are looking Absolutely. for. Absolutely. So, you guys Great. have anything? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm good with it too. Okay, great. The um, you were self funded for many years and I think that kinda of went south. You probably don't want to look at self funding again or so. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and are you bad, bad taste in our mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're uh, you're getting like a weekly claims run, is that what you get, Scott? You pay claims? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ours will be the same. Most of the ones we show you would have the two card system. I think your employees have probably adjusted to the two card system. Yes. Now. It's mm -hmm. not, it really yeah. gets to where it's not. Uh, the only difference ours will be is all of ours is done electronically. All, our providers all accept electronic. For the most part, yours should be now, but there's a few, I think, that they still say they have to do paper uh, claims from the provider standpoint. Ours would be all electronic. But, uh, sounds good. We'll, uh, Scott will need to get some updated information if we can. Uh, Will we just reach out to you to yes. get that probably? Okay, we'll do yeah. that. Once we have our numbers, we'll hopefully back, we. Come back and see you. I don't. Do you guys know when you'll anticipate getting your renewal this year? I I talked to her. Seems like it was this month. Okay, that'd I'm be not, great. Yeah, not hundred percent positive. Yeah, so. we'll maybe try and come back in October then or something yeah. with our numbers to give you time to make a decision. Is it still Alicia? Is Alicia your yeah. new broker? Julie. Julie. Oh, oh. Julie. Okay. Oh, okay. We thought. I thought maybe Alicia was yours. Alicia Struthers. Um, Brian. Oh, Brian. Brian Struthers. Brian yeah. Struthers. Oh, okay. Oh, we, we don't okay. see Alicia as much. Okay. Brian comes out of Denver, I think, now. Oh. Is that right? Fort Collins, yeah. Okay. Alicia, Alicia was in Smith Center, I believe. Yes. Sure. He's okay. in, I think, Fort Collins. He's down I here see. quarterly. Okay. 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 Yeah, we were familiar with Julie and we met Alicia before, but I don't think we met him before. So good. We appreciate your time. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank Thank you. Absolutely. Let us know if you have any questions in the meantime, and then we'll reach out to you, Scott. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Absolutely. Absolutely. I tell you, we have <laughs> rookies at this time thing. We have time to come out here. Thank you. <laughs> we stay in Goodland your... the night before. No. And I, I, I go to Goodland. I gotta, I gotta go to Goodland after this. So yeah. Yeah, time change yeah. is always fun. Well, the... well, one of our phones will switch, and the other one won't, and then we have a certain time on the <laughs> hotel clock. And we, we appreciate so, Scott so, always so, says so it's central time. You know, we, lucked, we lucked out today. We got it all right. But, uh, <laughs> we always question ourselves, but. Uh, all right. I suppose you all get used to it after time, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, we you think you do. Yeah. <laughs> in my house, you can be sitting in one spot, and you can lean forward, and you're in central. Really? Is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thanks. You guys all have a good day. You too. Thank you. Scott. See you. know where they're out of. Rossville? Yeah. What's up? Where's Rossville? Eastern Kansas. Somewhere. Okay. Everything's Eastern Kansas from here, Roger. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it's safe bet. Um, in our department head meeting, we were talking about this CIC software thing, and so we're trying to figure out the most effective way to use our time wisely and figure out a solution. I think we decided 
some sort of a committee or a group mm -hmm. so that not one person is doing everything or two people doing the same exact thing and not talking. So um, trying to make it just more efficient and more cohesive, I guess, is a word I'm trying to think of. <laughs> So I didn't know how um, you what you guys had in mind as far as how you thought this process should go with researching new software. Um, but like I said, we thought maybe a committee of the four departments that use the software the most um, getting together and working together on different assigning different things and, and moving forward Matt thought that if we had some sort of a idea narrowed down to you know one or two different things that he would start looking at it from an IT perspective as far as what the county would need he doesn't think that he needs to really be involved until we get to that level, that level. Okay. Um, and he thought maybe with the CIC contracts being due June next year if we had an idea by December, January timeframe. He can look at it from an IT perspective at that time and then that'll give us enough time and you guys enough time as a county to, for us budget wise and to pick something or not, or, or stay the same or whatever we're gonna end up doing without crunching, like rushing into something. Okay. Having, a, having a logical timeline. Do you have people in mind if you guys are going to do that, come together? We had talked um, clerk, treasurer, appraiser, ROD. Okay. And then once between the four of us had something kind of figured out, then we would bring Matt in and figure out the IT side of it and then present something to you guys. What's the four offices that you use? I just use it the most. I just yeah. wanted to see if it in case somebody's gone or something, how you do that. And well, I think if we just, if the four of us <clears throat> got together and, I mean, I know at my treasurer's conference, we had a couple of presentations of some software, but I don't know that it'll work for the clerk or for the ROD. So, and I also don't want to be researching something that I know Scott might be researching too, because that's just... Communication. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a waste of both of our times. If we could get together and just kind of divvy it up and right. conquer it together. That would be good. Um, basically, I just want to avoid anything like what, is, what has happened with CIC and it going down and yeah. and just, I mean, even emergency plans right. of what we need to do yeah. are a step in the right direction. Right. So, I mean, you guys are doing a good job by, by looking into this, just don't want to stretch you out too much. Yeah, no, I think, I mean, I think we need to just see what's out there. Okay. And and we I might agree. we might have the best thing right now. I okay. I don't know, but, but unless if, you look, you you don't, you don't know. know. Yeah. And if we do have the best thing out there, we just need we need, you know, emergency plans. If the this, this server goes down, what right. do we do? How do we how do we keep right. going? That's basically I think all we're asking is to, right, guys. Yeah, um, and I th I think we're we're conquering that. Good. We're gonna we're gonna good. test Early it. Slowly but surely. We're good. gonna test it next good. month. That's, that's, <laughs> That's, that's good. So, I, did you want something officially? Yes, I think a motion needs to be made to appoint a committee. Okay. Um, for the purposes of looking into software, CIA, op software, software options. Software options. Okay. Do you want to who would so be the motion for that? Who would be the? Are you going to be the head head of the? It would be Don, Jeannie, Amanda, and Scott. Okay. And then between the four of us, we can figure out. I'll make a motion that we use the one she said. <laughs> <laughs> Four department heads. <laughs> it's been moved and seconded to to uh, appoint a committee for department. Uh, uh, how do Software I would research. Software research. <laughs> okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Oh. Okay. I am so computer. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not yeah. illiterate. So. Yeah. So, okay, well then we'll get together and Thank move you. forward and try and have something back to you guys by December, January time frame. And Sounds good. Go from there.
Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good week. Me too. Let's see if I can find somebody. I don't know anything we can do with that food pantry. Can we legally give them money? Yeah. I mean, it's a community based organization. I mean, it's kind of like the senior center. Maybe an appropriation. Okay. I had somebody approach me wanting to see if we could make a resolution for uh, like bringing a whole bunch of trailers on a certain property or set property that's still in, I would say, the, the, I don't think it's in city limits, but yeah. what, it, what would be, what would that entail? Because it sounds to me like I had two people call me and there's like a whole bunch of trailers and they're worried about everything that's coming in. It's out by the car wash, it sounds like. Um, Hi, Annie. Hello. I thought that <clears throat> years ago there was something that was passed whereby like county nuisances or something. Okay. Because I know that there was an um, uproar in regards to what was going on. I'll have to look into that. Okay. But something in my mind is saying there should be something already in existence Okay. for that, and we'll look into it. Okay, that sounds oh, good. What are they using for? I don't know. Have you heard anything out there by the car washers? Supposedly some campers and stuff. There is campers and tents. I don't know what's going on there. I know there's no water on that property. Okay. Well, I just, I, I know I've had two phone calls about it with certain people, and so. Anyway. All right, what you got for us, Mike? Um, first of all, where we're at on expenses. And historically in October, chemical prices go up, so I went ahead and got some bids, and I only received two back from Nutrien and one from Van Deest. It's quite a bit more than normal, but we've added some new chemicals in there. The method in plain view, they are a newer roadside chemical out that'll help us with the thistles and buying weed and some of the control of the kosher and stuff. It slows a lot of things down. So I thought that would help Steve out if we could get some of that and try it at least on a few of the higher traveled roads to help help with the weed control. <laughs> You mean the ones that are taller than the Well, those. We'll just have to make sure we get in there early. <laughs> Who are these people? Um, Van Deest is kind of a Kansas and Nebraska based company. Oh, okay. So Their closest hub to us is McCook. Does Nutrien keep this stuff on hand? Well, some of it. But Nutrien's set up kind of funny. We have to go through their range and pasture guy. We can't. Just go to Bird City and get the bid for this. Okay.
Oh, there's not a whole lot of difference, is there? No. No. This is probably uh, as close as I've <coughs> ever seen it. Who's? That's a nutrient been pretty good to us in the past. They right? have. That's who we've been using the last several years. They've I always been a lot cheaper. I'm fairly familiar with all their chemicals, so. Who do you prefer? Probably with what we have in stock now, I would say Nutrien. I know they're just a little higher, but at least we'd be consistent on everything we already have. I, I mean, it's a close enough number if, if, if I think whatever you'd like to do on that. I know that we need to get it ordered, and you are under budget, so. Yeah. And this still leaves us plenty of room in there to, for our cost shares to fall if we have anything. Motion. Well, I just want to see what. So, how many, like that method and plan do you, how many miles do you think you can do with that much? I have to reread the label. I think they're both six to eight ounces an acre. So, we could get all our asphalt for sure and probably some more. You said six to eight ounces an acre? Mm hmm. And if we do 15 feet on each side, so it'd be basically two acres a mile. I'm just rough figuring. Are these delivered or you have to go get them? They'll, they'll be delivered. Sometimes they'll show up a box at a time, sometimes it'll be a pallet. It just <laughs> depends where they come from. Because those are kind of two of the bigger, higher expensive. Areas. They are. Are we going to need a forklift down there to unload these? Um, that or we could probably use road and bridges skid steer. Okay, we've been I just, doing. just want to make sure. Yep. And we have plenty of room for all this stuff down there? Yes. Good. Yep. Are you Good in thought? that building? No, not yet. We're still cleaning and... What do you think? Okay. What do you think on that? Pretty... It's close enough. We. Right, it's close enough and like uh, Mike is saying, You'd have some consistency with Nutrien. Mm -hmm. Nutrien does have an operation out of Burke, they do. which yep. is in Cheyenne County. Right. And so I, I do use them for reference over there some. That's but. that's what I wanted to hear. So, what do you think, Roger? It's all right. So you go with Nutrien. Okay. I'll make a motion to purchase the Nutrien. Second. It's been moved and seconded to purchase our chemical through a nutrient. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Did you need, did you have some other questions you wanted? Um, just questions? on the building, we're still cleaning and getting it kind of ready. I've got some people going to give us some door bids. So okay. I've got one in. I'm waiting for a couple more. Um, the biggest holdup is the first guy that bid thought we might have to move that overhead heater if we put an overhead door in there for the motor and the way the door is going to open. So I don't know if we maybe want to look into that a little closer to before we commit to that or not. And I went and looked at the landfills and the emergency buildings yesterday and both of those heaters run around the door. So I'm guessing okay. there's a reason there wasn't an overhead door put in the way the heater is, okay. is my biggest concern. So why didn't you figure this out before we bought it? Well, I don't know. I guess I wasn't thinking. <laughs> can you talk to somebody about moving it? Um, and the guy that gave the first bid said he can. He just can't do the electrical work. But I found another guy that would do the electrical work for us. Okay. So I think we'll just get a couple more bids in for the door and then see where we're at maybe okay. be the best thing. And these open really easy, but I don't know what they'll be like when we get snow on the ground. Right. I can tell you. <laughs> be tough, I'm sure. They freeze down. The only advantage is they're facing south, so we'd have a little more sun. But then I'd like to request 10 minutes of executive session for non-elected personnel. I so uh, move. And I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded for 10 minutes of executive session for non-elected personnel. All in favor, signal vote by saying aye. 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 We'll be out of there. Sorry, so Cody just had a couple minutes. I don't know. Talk to him first. Sorry. Uh, I don't know, dude. Okay. Okay. Whatever.
that would have been good. I'm sorry. Well,